G'day YouTube, my name's Lance and welcome to Bundy Bear's Shed. Well, this is the second um, review of an Olight torch. Now, Olight contacted me and said, but I like to have a look at their torches. I was looking at torches for putting in our cruiser to take away camping, so, and I don't know how they know, but they, <laughs> I think Google knows everything. And um, I had been looking for stuff and they contacted me and said, would I be interested in doing a, a review on my channel on their torches? If they sent me a couple of torches, I could just do a review. And, and um, if I liked them and I thought they were a good thing, they'd set up an affiliate marketing thing with Bundy Bear Shed. So um, if it was a good thing and um, I chose to go with it, the affiliate marketing would give my viewers a discount on their site. And they do have a lot of sales. Um, so I jumped on their website and I had a look to see if I wanted to go that way or not and have a look. And look, I, I was pretty keen once I saw what they had. Um, it's just little stuff. These, these torches, the two that they sent me, are just small torches. Now, this second one, it's an I3T EOS brass slim EDC flashlight. Now, that's what it looks like if I can keep it out of the, out of the glare. Um, this is a nice little brass torch, the, the 3T, the, the Batten torch, it's a rechargeable one. Um, this brass torch is not rechargeable, it takes a AAA battery. But look, we'll pop it on the bench here, we'll open it up and we'll see what we think to get. Okay, right. I've got a little rule here so we can do a measure. But look, the packaging is nice, but like I say, the packaging is something that just gets chucked away from me. And there's a big thank you. We've got too much light here at the moment, haven't we, I think? There's a thank you written on the lid there. So it comes with a nice little sealed piece. And that's a quick instruction that tells you how to look after it. Or um, Okay, it says you pull the back off. There's a little plastic button in there. And then you have a AAA battery that goes positive end in first. So that's okay. We have an instruction, which that's good too. We need that. We're only bloody tractor mechanics, eh? There's a lanyard with a wrist strap on it that's, yeah, look, that's probably okay for some things. Not something I ever use, but that's okay. It's here anyway. See, the box is nice. Look, it's, it's well made, but like I say, once that's taken out of the box, it's out. So there's our little torch. Look at that. Now it's got a double helix knurl there, or like a, it looks like a thread. It's got a fat one, then a thin one um, right around there. I'll bring it in if I can and see if I can get you to see that. But I'll show you that on a slide, I think. They've sent me a couple of um, brochures that I can put on my computer and I can cut a couple of slides out for you. So it has a single AAA battery. Which is a shame it's not rechargeable, but look, that's okay. AAA batteries aren't that expensive. It has an O-ring seal around here. It's got a nice feel to it, actually. It, um, and you can feel that O-ring dragging as, you, as you're doing that up. That's a good thing. Now, the clip here, it's a, it's a strong clip, just the same as on the other one. So, the idea of the clip here is that on this one, we can buddy... We can pop him on our cap like that, which I found on the other torch. The Batten 3 was a good thing. This is a little bit longer, as in a torch, but I'll put the cap back on, and we'll see what this little instruction tells us. So it's got a high and a low. It's got 180 lumens, which gives you light for around 60 metres for 21 minutes. And low is 5 lumens, which is good for about 12 metres. So 12 metres is like 20 foot, roughly, I suppose. And it'll do that for 15 hours. So you can drop it from 1.5 metres. You can throw it. Oh, it's waterproof IPX8. I'm not sure what that is. The length is 89 millimetres or 3.5 inch. The bezel diameter is 15 mil or 0.5, 0, 0.59 of an inch. Weighs 75 grams or 2.65 ounces. 
above specs are the test results based on ANSL NEMA FL1 2009 standards. And it just tells you how to do the battery, so that's about it. So let's have a play. This is the important bit, having a play. Okay. We'll press the button. And that's low, I suppose. Holy, that's good, isn't it? That's a very bright light. And like I say, as I said with the other torch as well, um, actually it's a nice finish. Like the finish is really nice on it. Like on both torches, it's really nice. That clip's well made. It feels strong. And um, this isn't a torch where you're going to go hunting <laughs> and you know shine 200 meters, 200 yards up the paddock and have a look at something. This is a personal torch. Once again, in Bundy Bear's shed, hooked to my cap looking down in the guts of a transmission or something like that, that's where this would shine. You could get it in there. There's no adjustable focus or anything like that on it. It's fixed focus. But look, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the feel of it all, which probably doesn't matter a lot. But <laughs> that's how it goes. But look, that's okay. I'm not going to take this outside. Like, I took the other one outside and it's been dark and rainy and... and it, it will go further than this one. Um, this is more of a pocket torch because of the diameter of it and things like that. But as for fit and finish, like that's it's lovely. Single LED in the end there. It looks okay to me. But look, I'll, I'll put a couple of slides up now and that'll give you all the specs, um, the proper specs, not just me saying it. <laughs> and you can actually have a look at the slides and see what they say from there. Well, there you go. <laughs> I've had a little bit of a chat about this little low light torch. The slides are up there. Have a look in the description. There's a bit of a sale coming up, they tell me, a 35% off. So there will be a link to their website in the description of the torch here. Um, have a look at the slides. Now, there's an affiliate marketing deal there. So there's a code down the bottom. If you put the code from the description in the checkout as you go out, I believe, you'll get a discount and the channel will get a bit of feedback or, or probably three cents. <laughs> I don't know. I, I haven't even asked them. That's how interested I was in that. Um, yeah, they said with affiliate marketing, you get a little bit of a kickback for the sales. So um, what that is, I, I didn't ask. I just, yeah, okay, if I like the product, I'll, it'll be good. And if not, well, I'll send it back. <laughs> um, but look, I, I reckon it's a good little thing. I, I'm, I'm happy with that. Now... For a little shop torch it's good, for a little pocket torch it's good, fits in your pocket nicely, so that's, yeah, that's all you can ask. Sits on my hat nicely, and like I say, if we're in the workshop, it's a good tough little torch, being brass. Now I suppose with any, any alloy or brass particularly, um, an unpainted brass, if you got that near electrics, you'd have a bit of a, a, bit of a light up me life moment and it won't be the torch. But um, look, make up your own mind. Look, I think it's all right. Have a look at the website. Look at the information on it and make your own mind up. If you buy one, great. If you don't, it's your choice. But um, yeah, look, I, I think they're a nice little thing. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you later, right? Eh?